Hi there, I'm Timothy Lindstad. I'm a video producer. I'm a Christian and I'm concerned about what's going on in the world, but today I have my producer's hat on for digital acquisition problems. We have an alarming uh, image capture issue uh, uh, within Final Cut Pro. Okay, what is this alarming issue in Final Cut Pro? Um, I've been working uh, with Final Cut for many, many years. Going into the new one was the change, the Final Cut Pro 10, X, whatever. Um, so there's been some challenges there. But recently, after an update to 10.4, recently updated my iMac Pro to Sarah as far as I can, because I have an older Mac, probably. 2011, uh, so I, all of those things count as to whether there's a problem or not. Uh, but I made that uh, update recently. I had been ignoring it uh, so many times. In an update, there's a problem. You would think a company like Apple, <clears throat> the wealthiest company in the world, doesn't have enough money to make sure all the software is good. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I do like their stuff, I like their equipment, so I guess I quit advertising for them, but not today. So anyway, uh, it's it's uh, in, the, uh, in the capture process, in the import process, uh, because uh, the first scare I get when I finally really noticed it and started to pay attention to it. Uh, I have a video shoot coming soon and I realized, my word, this could be my camera and I don't have time to be chasing around and renting a camera or whatever else I gotta do. <clears throat> so I do some recording and I'm watching and looking and sure enough, uh, when I bring it into the editor, there it is. I called Canon about it. It, this is in fact a prosumer G20 I'm using. And um, he, I was telling my problem, and he says, well, did you actually watch it on the uh, uh, playback on the camera? Well, I probably have, I just wasn't looking close. And uh, so I did, and I didn't see it. Well, whoo, that's something. He said that's probably, maybe, I don't even think he said that, but I'm assuming he, inferred it might be in the editor. You know, I mean, we, we, we've all been through multiple issues and computer issues. Uh, you think of the old people working with film, if they strictly worked with film, they never saw anything like this that we struggle with, but, but you do what you can. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, what's going on. After the ingest and you can put it on a timeline and sure enough you get this flicker. Now I'm going to uh, show uh, a clip of that and I'll do it in a uh, uh, split screen so you can see one half flickering and the other half not. And uh, now how did I get the other half not? Okay I wanted to give you uh, a visual uh, understanding of what's going on with that flickering. Uh, this green screen test uh, usually uh, shows up rather dramatically. This, some call it flickering. It's more like a on and off of, of a quarter to a half stop. Be darker, lighter, darker, lighter. And it uh, seems to be coming from uh, ingesting your movie file uh, in directly into uh, Final Cut from its you know, uh, uh, media capture window, and it's causing some problems. So hopefully this will give you an example of what's happening. Well, I went on to, uh, uh, actually my son, the uh, electrical engineer, put me on to the software of Edit Ready. Very simple software, not expensive. Um, brings up a window, you can set up your parameters, 
uh, pretty basic stuff. Sets your uh, import folder. And uh, you just take and go into your SD chip. By the way, SD chips came under scrutiny in this issue on their uh, Final Cut Pro dot co or co was are the SD chips causing this issue and from what I can see apparently not but you go on the SD chip and uh, that is uh, uh, of course a concern but in the ABC HD movie uh, folder under private folder uh, you just take and drag that in to edit ready and then it'll display the uh, uh, thumbnails and you can either import the whole thing or click on the flags in there and then you go and you click on you know either uh, you're going to convert or import uh, those particular ones selected into your movie folder or you can do the convert the whole thing and up will come these you know bands of each video and it's uh, displaying it to uh, so you know when it's done then of course when you go to your movie folder you can click you know select them all drag them right into final cut real simple drag them into your event Boom, up they come. And those don't flicker. So, the image capture window uh, within Final Cut has got an issue somewhere. <clears throat> now, others have tried multiple things using uh, you know, a higher end import into Final Cut, um, something other than the basic has corrected it or they've used other software but I find it set it ready really simple to use uh, just drag your stuff out of uh, out of the private folder right in there if you're using uh, what I'm using uh, Sony one of the Sony cameras had this issue Let's see if I can find that the SD card editor Sony 8 A7 somebody was using that uh, and they had that same issue so apparently what it came down to is uh, yet yeah, and it wasn't the SD card it wasn't the camera or something you're setting but it's when you directly import under the capture window in Final Cut Pro and that's where it's happening because the 10.3 version which I was using up until recently no problem at all so it's in that update there we go again updates causing a headache especially if you're in the middle of a project the other side to this of course is that when you go to export it it's still in the export so it's in both of course that's a tragedy because you're creating a movie file of your project and if somehow you missed it um, you're now going to have it in that project file and hope that you have not uh, erased your original footage which of course is the greatest danger And of course that gets me back to the RAN, come on Apple, let's fix this, let's get it done. Why it isn't done now, I have no idea. Um, just, you know, get the job done. We got a tough enough time out here in the field. Um, some said that a little bit had to do with their computer, say a newer iMac Pro 2017 later. Um, so not as much uh, a problem uh, and it seems to be in 10.4 so I uh, went to edit ready and I think I'll use you know even when they solve this problem I'll probably use edit ready no I'm not receiving <laughs> money to advertise that software but it does work great quick 
uh, right off the SD card, drag it right in, and select what you want, and away you go. Uh, I hope you, uh, you know, you get this done easily. Uh, you can solve your issues afterwards. Uh, hate to think of that nightmare and how that could be. <laughs> so, it's again in the Final Cut Pro software, not in your camera, your SD card. So, uh, thank you. This is Timothy Linsdale. Like and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel. A lot of history and politics and religion. All kinds of stuff. you got a choice of stuff you can look at. So, thanks a lot. Bye now.